What is going on guys, my name is Roman back again from Romney Views here, and I'm going to be talking about the last week's episode, uh, well not last week's, yesterday's episode of Rise of the Shield Hero. Now I do apologize that I was not able to at least react to it, unfortunately I did react to it, it just didn't record whatsoever. Uh, and I remember right at the end when I was saying like goodbyes and everything, I looked and it wasn't even recording, and I was pissed because I made sure I clicked the right button, but apparently just didn't register, so I do apologize for that, but let's talk about this episode, and this was actually a pretty good episode, and I thought it was actually going to be a Raftalia-based episode completely, and I was wrong, because we're not getting that until episode 15 next week's episode, but at the beginning of the episode, I got to see Worst Girl Mine, um, basically setting fire to the actual mountain that they were on and it was basically to flush them out and a lot of people were thinking it might have been she set the f uh, the carriage on fire which she did not on the, uh, if they did well if she did it didn't show it but they never showed her actually setting fire to the carriage so i'm assuming that that the carriage is fine but they did basically burn down the entire side of that mountain just to flush them out now they're heading to another place and they run into someone, or they run, they go into the country, can't remember the name of the country right off the top of my head, um, but they go into the country where it's very kind to, to demo humans, and they meet this guy right here, Van Reichnot, or Reichnot, and he basically is a friend of, like, a, a lot of demis really look up to him, a lot of the demi humans, and they have a lot of respect for him because of how he treats demi humans. Because if you guys don't remember, demi humans are not treated like people, they're treated basically like slaves for the majority of most people in this world. So, with Reichnot, apparently he is a very kind ruler, um, a kind noble, and then so they meet up with this guy, and, I, and I'm still a little bit hesitant, like. I think I'm hesitant because I don't know what this guy's shtick is yet. We don't know too much about him, but from what we've gone so far, he seems okay. The only reason why I'm a little bit skeptical is because if you look at him, he has that whole stereotypical with those two small eyeglasses around the nip, uh, on the t uh, on the br bridge of his nose, and he always tends to have his eyes closed. Although he did open them, at least. Uh, and I've seen a lot of anime and manga where, and also games where they usually portray that character as kind of like. Seems nice up front, but is not entirely. But uh, another another character that popped up. I'm trying to look it up, and I'm also trying not to show a lot. Uh, I'm trying not to show a lot. But this guy, Rabier, um, it, it's just your stereotypical piece of shit. And you can see right here uh, that Raftalia, when they're all hiding, when Rabier's men came in and stormed the place because apparently they got tipped off by another noble, which I'm still a little skeptical on that whole idea. But when Raftalia, when, when Raftalia and Alfred were basically hiding in the kitchen cupboard or the kitchen uh, area, you could see that once she heard his name, her first instinct was to go for her sword. And now Fumi was like, "No, you need to calm down." And then Melty basically made it so it's like oh no 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 the, i've already set the shield hero away um but then he, she's still basically keeping up with the front of hey the shield hero is not as bad as he is i'm gonna go clear his name but at the same time she was like yeah she they're already gone they're not here i already sent them away once i saw that your men were coming after after him so that kind of diverts their attention however raybeard does not believe this and then Attempts to basically hold on. Let me see if I can find it really quickly. Well, you get to see Reich not being getting beat up, so that's the main reason. Also, you get to see his eyes here. Uh, so <laughs> that whole scene type kind of got broken a little bit. <laughs> but Reich not gets beaten up by um, by both the guys guards and Riper. And I really wanted when Raftalia, Philo, and now Fumi rushed in as Rabier was basically getting to be a little handsy with Melty and I don't know in which way it, was, it wasn't really implied which way but I'm kind of I'm actually kind of hoping it was in a dirty way because I kind of wanted to eat, be a piece of shit and get get his just desserts because if you think about it anyone who Raftalia kind of like doesn't or, or, or inadvertently hates I don't really trust them because <laughs> Raftalia is kind of best girl <laughs> especially but 
basically, uh, during the assault, Nelfun was able to attack a guard um, and use one of his shields to poison him. I don't know if it was actually real, if he actually did poison him, or he might have just been uh, lying about it. But he said, he's like, uh, yeah, this poison's very lethal. You will die, but I will, I will give you this antidote if you take him to your leader. And he, he actually does. Um, when he busts down the door, you can even see that... I don't... I, I want to see if I can get to that spark, but... I, I can't, like I said, I can't actually play the actual thing, because, you know, reasons. Um, but yeah, like, the moment they bust in, you get to see the guard, the same guard, right behind him, and he throws the uh, antidote to him. But you get to see a little bit later on, with Raftalia, she goes up to him as, like, he has his whip, and he's whipping at her, and it's cutting, hitting her sides, and even cuts her, or her uh, right cheek. She goes up to him, and then has a knife uh, or has her blade right to his throat and I actually really wanted and I'm hoping that this show is not going to give a mercy treatment because next episode I feel like we're going to get the whole episode where we're going to get Raftali's backstory and then that friend that she was also talking about during the dream and also if you don't remember uh, this was the second time she actually is shown having that nightmare the very first time was during the second episode during their first night together now Fumi's and Raftalia so this was the first time she was able to have that nightmare that is shown since then since she actually got her other form so yeah it was a really good episode I thoroughly enjoyed it Hopefully this video doesn't get taken down due to copyright claims, even though I was just literally just showing pictures. I didn't show a single actual scene. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I think next episode we're going to get the backstory. We're going to get more about this piece of shit. This guy with this stupid ass mustache. And we are going to have a good episode, I feel like. Uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, it, this episode right here is like I'm I'm assuming this is Raftalia holding the bars, and then this right here is our actual friend. But yeah, anyways, guys, that was it for this episode. I do apologize for not reacting to it. Well, I did react to it. I'm just uh, I apologize for not actually making sure it was recording, even though I thought it was. Um, but yeah, hopefully by Saturday things will get all straightened up and it won't be as bad. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. What did you guys think about the episode? And again, I do apologize. Next week will not happen. I actually recorded it. It was a little bit later because yesterday I was really sick. I was like really sick. I, I went to work at midnight. Threw up during work. But I still powered through it. Got a bunch of stuff done. Got yelled at by people who don't even work in our actual store. They are company. So they're, they're big wig bosses and douchebags who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. But... Yeah, and then, so I w basically went home, took a nap, woke up, made the video, found out I wasn't recording, and I was like, you know what, fuck this, and I just slept the rest of the day. And I woke up at like 12 o'clock, uh, or midnight, around midnight, a little bit later, at past midnight, so it, that's why. I could have re-reacted to it, but I felt like I would have, I, w I, I was just in a mood. I didn't want to re-react, I could have. And I would have just remembered what I basically said, and I probably would have actually had expanded on some things that I had uh, thought about. But I was sick, wasn't feeling good, still don't feel uh, really up to par at all. And I was just like, you know, what? I'm just going to sleep. And I know a lot of people wanted at least, uh, I know a few people wanted to at least see me talk about this at the very least so here i am just talking about it but yeah anyways guys that was episode 14 i'm very looking forward to episode 15 because i thought this was going to be the rough tally episode but it seems like it's going to be next episode so we'll see what happens but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching one <laughs> so much for watching and i will get it fixed by uh saturday when i do my reactions for demon slayer and uh and uh we never learn but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time see ya